Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and today is a Motivational Monday video. Okay guys, if you couldn't tell by both the intro and the title of this video, I am starting a new series on my channel called Motivational Mondays. I don't know that I'm going to be uploading every single Monday. Whenever the mood strikes me to talk about something motivational, inspirational, or spiritual, I will be uploading on Mondays in addition to my other weekly uploads. What I want to give back to the world is to give a little bit of motivation and inspiration so you can live your best life and hopefully you can start off your week right after you watch these videos. Let's get into the content of today's video. Today I want to talk about chasing your dreams, how you can do that, why you should do that, and how you can become motivated to overcome your fears of chasing your dreams so you can live your best life. But I'm going to try to keep these videos just off of the top of my head and also just speaking from my heart. To start off this video, I just want to tell you guys that I am literally the hugest believer in chasing your dreams. I don't want you to just follow your dreams, I want you to chase them. I believe that if you work with both manifestation and putting in the work, you can achieve absolutely anything. When we were children, most of our parents told us we could do or be anything in this world. But at some point in time, for a lot of us, that support isn't there anymore. Your parents, your peers, your family, your friends, they want you to get a normal job, they want you to be normal, and there no longer is this, you can be anything that you want to be. But I want to turn that around and have you guys realize that you can be and achieve absolutely anything. Something that I want you guys to think about when you think about achieving your dreams, whether it be financial, career, personal, spiritual, goals that you have, if you want to run a marathon, whatever it is, I want you to keep in mind and know that your dreams were given to you for a reason. No matter how weird they may seem, they were given to you and not someone else for a reason. So why wouldn't you chase them? Why wouldn't you want to follow your dreams? Why wouldn't you want to try your absolute hardest to achieve them? If you believe you can and you put in the work, you can. The only thing the literal only thing that is stopping you from achieving your dreams is you. And what I mean by that is no one else is stopping you. What other people think of you isn't stopping you. It's the fact that you are letting what they think of you stop you. Your only limit is you. So you need to push aside that fear. That's what's stopping you from achieving your dreams and goals, chasing them, becoming hungry for them until you achieve them. You need to push aside fear. So going off of the fear that is stopping you, maybe it's fear of what other people think, maybe it is self-doubt, maybe you don't think you have the money to achieve your dreams, whatever it is, I want to break past that fear with you today. So I encourage you to get out a notebook or a piece of paper and I'm going to get you to go through a few exercises so you can realize what your dreams are and what is stopping you and how you can break that fear and make a plan so you can achieve your dreams. So first of all, before we get into a couple different questions that I want you to journal and reflect on, I want you to write down some of your dreams. Now, do not limit your dreams. Make them as big and crazy as you want. Any area of your life, write them down. After you do that, pick one that is a major goal or dream of yours that you want to achieve. Put that on a new piece of paper at the very top what it is. Underneath it, I want you to write what is stopping you from achieving that right now? What is the fear-based motive behind it that is stopping you from chasing your dreams? Now why I want you guys to start with writing down your fears surrounding your goals and dreams is so that you can realize them and then you can face them head on. The very first step is coming to realization of what is holding you back so you can shift that mindset. Oh, if it is judgment from others, Honestly, no one can live your life but you. You need to do things that make yourself happy. If it is judgment from yourself, 
think about how you will feel if you never even try to achieve or chase your dreams. If you fail, so what? Do you want to be at the end of your life and think, what if I would have done that one thing that I've always wanted to do, that I was so passionate about, but I was too scared? Do you want to die with regrets? I don't think any of us do. We need to chase our dreams. We never know what we can achieve until we try. If one of your fears is a fear of money, that is honestly a very valid fear. If you don't want to be in debt and take out a loan, I also totally understand that. But if this is a dream that you are hungry enough for, you have to wake up every single day hungry to achieve this thing, then you will find a way to make it happen even if it's financials that are holding you behind. You could get an extra job and save money. You could flip and sell things on the side. You could make things and sell them. There is ways that you can make extra money and slowly save up towards your goal. We need to break past the fear that we have that's holding us back so that we can achieve our dreams and live our dream life. Do not be on your deathbed and have regrets because you chose things in life out of fear. Now that you know what is holding you back from your dreams and you have an idea of how you can break past that and work within yourself to dissolve that fear, get past it, the first step is just to realize that that fear is there so that you can overcome it and you can get past all those negative emotions and thoughts in your head that tell you that you're not good enough. Because let me tell you, you are good enough. Next on this piece of paper, I want you to write down all of the actions that you need to do to achieve this dream or goal. Once you have those action steps, Break them down to even smaller steps. What is something that you could do for one hour a day? Just one hour. It could be the smallest task every single day. Something that only takes one hour. One of the biggest excuses that people make to themselves why they can't achieve their dreams is because they don't have the time. And let me tell you, if you take one hour out of your day, just one, every single day, say there's 30 days in a month, that is 30 hours that you will be putting towards your dreams. That is way better than the zero hours you're probably spending on them right now. Now, where are you gonna find this one hour of time? Maybe you have a one hour lunch break at work and you can do some stuff online to go towards your dreams. Maybe you can skip watching a TV show, binge watching Netflix. Maybe you can wake up an hour earlier or stay up an hour later. I understand that sleep is very important to us, but imagine having 30 hours a month worth of work towards your dreams. Imagine what you could achieve. It is time to stop making excuses for why you can't start chasing your dreams. You are worth it. You deserve this. Life is way too short. If you clicked on this video, and especially if you are still watching this far into it, you are here for a reason, and this is your sign. This is your sign. Your dreams can come true if you believe, both with manifestation and putting in hard work. If you are still feeling unsure and fearful of that dream you have written down at the top of the page, I want you to complete one more exercise, a pros and cons list. What are the pros of you following your dreams and the cons of following your dreams? Does one outweigh each other? In most cases, there's gonna be a lot of pros, but if there is cons, maybe this isn't the dream that you should follow and you should pick something else. But I am the firmest believer in dreaming huge. Now, why you should listen to me, because I am not some multi-millionaire. I'm just some dog groomer that makes videos on the internet and I go to work every day. I'm a mom and a wife. Why should you take what I have to say? to heart. I met my husband in high school. We we moved out young. We bought a house young. We married young. We have a daughter now. I own a business. I have a thriving YouTube channel that is climbing in numbers. I want to show you guys how I believe I have manifested all of that into my life, both with the law of attraction, but also with hard work and believing that I am enough to achieve anything. You need to believe in yourself, put in the work. That's the thing. 
That's how law of attraction and manifestation works. Act like it is already yours. If you guys enjoy these motivational Monday type videos and you want some more strategies and to learn about how you can use gratitude and manifestation and law of attraction to bring you what you want in life, please let me know down below because I would love to continue making these videos. Okay guys, my daughter is crying. I need to go get her. We are almost done this video, but it is honestly perfect timing that she is awake for the next thing that I'm about to say. So I'm gonna go grab her and bring her back for this video. Okay guys, I am back with little Everly here. Look how big she has gotten. But the next point that I actually wanted to talk about and is absolutely perfect now that she's awake is your younger self and your inner child. When you look at little Evie here, so young and innocent, you're gonna tell her she can achieve anything she wants, she can be or do anything when she grows up. Do you think she deserves to achieve her dreams? As a kid, yeah, we all think our kids deserve to achieve their dreams, but do you deserve to achieve your dreams? Does your inner child, your younger self deserve to achieve their dreams. If you can, go find a picture of yourself as a kid and look at him or her in the eyes. They are enough and they deserve to achieve absolutely anything that they want to. This is a picture of me in preschool and this is what I have in my bedroom by my makeup desk next to a list of my goals and dreams taped to the wall so I can look at my goals and dreams every day but also look at my younger self because this version of me deserves to achieve her freaking dreams and so does this version of me and so does this little girl. So that little girl or boy inside of you deserves for you to chase your dreams. You might as well try. If you fail, so what? At least you tried. At least you know you tried. You can die knowing that you put in the work and you tried. So please, I encourage you, chase your dreams. You have nothing to lose. My very last thing that I wanna talk about is to make sure when you're choosing a dream to follow, whether it's career or a personal dream or whatever it is, make sure that it is for the right reasons. You're chasing the dream because it's true to you, not true to somebody else. So today, I hope you make the decision for your younger self and yourself today to chase your dreams. And also, chasing your dreams is not only for people in their teenage years, in their early 20s or 30s, it is for people of any age, any gender, any sexual orientation, anything. You are enough and you deserve to chase your dreams. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. If you enjoyed it and you would like more Motivational Monday videos, please press that thumbs up down below or leave me a comment so that I know and I can continue to make these. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below as I upload new videos every single week and me and Evie would love to have you part of our YouTube family. Thanks so much guys, see you in my next video. Did you smile? <laughs> What's that mean? Chase your dreams guys, you have nothing to lose. Bye guys.